What is going on, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is your weekly tarot for the week. However, happy Scorpio season. Let's see what we got going on with your love, all right? Overall energy. Oh, the moon card. Mm, some deep hidden emotions in the gentle, maybe? Or deep emotional, mental aspects. Let's dive into this. We got the two of swords for the first one. Sheesh. Hold on. Oh. The Knight of Cups. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. The Strength card, oh, Capricorn. <laughs> and you got the Ace of Swords, oh yeah. So you definitely need to reveal the truth to yourself. You see it, you know what's going down here. There's some action being made that are deeply connected to your emotional, mental, needs and wants and your spiritual root self that you have been on a long journey and it's telling you have the strength and courage overall to move forward and some of y'all might be dealing with the leo sun moon rising and venus placement energy here but there's definitely a love offer being made here from the divine and the beauty of it is here but you need to step forward have the courage be brave and understand you deserve love too all right we know you're the goat we know you got the money like that Besides being a workaholic, it's time for love. It's always time for love. It's always time for love. Don't put money over everything. Do not do that, please. Live how you want, but, you know, I would just recommend. However, what's going on with my single, single summon rising and Venus? If you made it this far, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate the love and support. It's going down. Ooh, shit. My singles are calling in their soulmate, and you deserve love. As I was mentioning, that shit just came out, too, for the singles, though. Definitely calling your person in. Your prayers, your affirmation, your visualizations of what it is you truly wanted is coming in. Are you prepared? Getting to know each other and staying optimistic about your love life. So, you know... Deepen the bond by expressing your true heart, your true self, and be real and authentic and pure. Tap into that playful, childlike energy and really let things flow, you know? Be positive. Think positive about your relationship because it's it going to bring you some beautiful things when you have faith and trust. Let's see one more card, please. Actually, let's do two more. You got children. This person might have children or you might have children or this will be... You having children with this person. Ooh. Let go of control issues, though. You got to let go of control issues and forgiving and learning. So let things naturally flow and allow yourself to forgive yourself, people in the past, your experience overall, so you can heal fully and step forward without destruction or any negative influences with your mental, your emotional on this relationship because that will destroy this potential relationship if you hold on to that and not put it in check. Realize that. Don't forget that. Don't bring that shit in for the new person, man. You don't want to do that, especially if someone's like, yo, this is what it is. This is what's up. You ain't trying to fuck that up, are you? What's going on with this Capricorn's past person before we do a message for the angels? Past person, what are they thinking or feeling about you, Capricorn? Ooh. Damn, so many things remind them of you. They definitely keep thinking about you. Huh? Oh, shit. Caught that, too. And guess what? I caught it, and it says I look every, everywhere for you. Caught that shit like, uh-uh. Don't set up yourself for the trap. I don't know who needed to hear that. But let's dig deeper. We need to let each other go. We both know I'm not the one for you. We don't even need to go further than that, man. This person knows, you know. This was just a closing experience, a spiritual lesson, applying that, being it, and moving on, man. Overall energy of what they are doing, what they're feeling. Oh, shit. Damn, overall energy, they feel like you leaving them behind. They feel that. A lot of y'all are nice. Y'all ain't got time for that. Y'all being the GOAT. So you got to hold that GOAT status and realize your worth and value as a Capricorn, as regardless of your sign, really not putting yourself through that again. Some of y'all might be wanting to reach out. I would make sure you have no resentment, anger, frustration towards this person or the situation. And hey, if that's what it is you want, go ahead. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just saying that that energy is there. It will continue replaying the same cycle. So, whoever needed to hear that, though. However, what's the message from the angels? Let's see what we got going down. 
What's going down with the angels want to tell you about your love life? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venuses. Two cards flew right the fuck out. Wisdom and divine you. Hmm. Definitely gained some wisdom, huh, Capricorn? There's a divine you stepping out. Rather, you've been hiding or in the shell like a cancer. Uh, I feel like a lot of y'all breaking free from that and really stepping forward. Bottom deck connection, so. Might be a connection that's coming your way. What's going on with this divine you? What is this about? Oh, shit. Prayer came right the hell out. Prayer. So everything you've been praying about, wishing, hoping, trying to manifest, create experience, your prayers are going to get answers. what I'm really feeling. Let's look dig deep. What's this wisdom? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom, enlightenment, motivation. Y'all leveling up, huh? Divine you, clearing your energy. Oh, no, but yeah, rebirth came out. Damn, Capricorn really leveling up here. Major breakthroughs and happenings going down. A lot of things are about to start happening, I meant. And uh, you ain't got no time to fuck around. The angels are trying to warn you too, like, hey, are you prepared? And guess what? Connection came right back out. Followed up with the strength card. So I have the strength and courage to have that healthy connection of a solid foundation of self-love, self-esteem, self-worth and value. And realize that this connection is between you, yourself, your higher self, the universe, the divine, and beautiful blessings coming your way. Overall energy, please. Overall energy. Bam! Universal truth. So you're going to see the messages very clear. Whatever it is you've been wanting to know, struggling to comprehend, applying, is coming towards you. That receiving and being open to receive is very needed. Outcome energy. Oh. Purpose. So whatever you've been on this whole journey leading to this very moment, it has prepared you for your purpose. And now you're really going to really get in the elevator and go to the next level, the next level, the next level. And you're being pushed and called from your divine essence of your soul, your heart, that connection that you have and understanding your intuition and understanding everything has led up to this point for you to really move forward. Beautiful. Definitely the goats. Y'all are always the goats, huh? Capricorn just can't take a day off. Shit, man. However, that's all I have for y'all. I will be doing a different type of format for these videos. I'm just trying to get the rest of the six signs. I got two more left, Aquarius and Pisces. But make sure you smash that subscribe button. Turn post notifications on. I'll greatly appreciate the love and support. I will see you in the next one. Stay blessed as always. Peace.